What's up guys? So I'm just going for a little bike ride. I put a new fork on and I'm trying to uh, pretty much just test out this fork and um, my new GoPro 9 black. The fork is a uh, RockShox Yari 160 mil travel. Plutch as fuck and I love it. And I got the GoPro 9, which is like pretty much a triple video. So I have some things I have to talk about and uh, I figured why not just make this video about that while also being able to test my new GoPro. The GoPro 9, it has um, really cool features to it. Where do I go? Hold on, I'll continue in a sec. All right. I just asked the uh, friendly neighborhood crackheads for some help guiding me to the trail. And apparently I was going the correct direction the whole time. So, something about a concrete pad I'm looking for. Uh, is this concrete? The, um, uh, there are BMX trail jumps, like everywhere. And I'm trying to find find them because I want to hit them. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for here. Ooh, there's a fucking groundhog in there. Yeah. Okay. Definitely on the right track. But, I have the Max Lens Mod on the GoPro, which is supposed to have super freaking awesome stabilization. I want to test it. Oh God, there's a lot of mud. I don't know how deep it is. Not that deep. So, with that being said, where have I been for the past four months? Well, me and my wife had a baby. His name is Carson. So I took about four months off of YouTube to uh, you know, try to get acquainted with him and meet my child, basically. Yeah, so that's where I've been. I sold my Mustang, the engine. I sold literally everything that has to do with that car. I needed the money for, obviously, my child, you know, but I didn't have the time to uh, continue on with that. It's sad, I wish I did, but I don't. So now it's basically just me mountain biking, having fun with my friends, not really worrying about spending a shit ton of money on a drift car. Plus, I'll get the exercise and uh, lose this fat stomach I have. That's also a plus. This fork is freaking sick and I'm not even doing anything. It's so plush. <laughs> I want to find these jumps. Where the hell are they at? But yeah, I had a baby. His name is Carson. Maybe uh, when I get back home, I'll uh, show you guys him if I remember. Yeah, I'm trying to f I'm trying to find these jumps. See, I've never been here. I didn't even know this place existed. It's right by the shop. And uh, people are always riding their dirt bikes and stuff past our shop. And I guess this is probably where they come from. You know, it would make sense to me. Flip it this way. <sighs> the wrong gear. I wish I'd find somebody. You'd ask them where the fuck this is. Like I said, I've never been here before. So. I have no idea where I'm going. I mean, as long as I could hear cars, I'll know where I'm at, but, but yeah, I got a new fork, a RockShuck Yari RC. It has uh, 160 millimeters of travel, a uh, debonair air spring, and a motion control damper. Um, it does not have the charger, well, a lot of bugs, a charger 2.1 damper. The Lyric comes with that, but I can get it and put it in, which is on the to-do list. Also on the to-do list is a coil rear shock. I would like to definitely buy one of those. Marzocchi makes one that is the exact same specs as my current shock. I would like to get that, a little pricey though, sadly. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm gonna climb that. If I do, I'll be very surprised. No, that ain't happening. Oh, it's a road. What? Uh, apparently I'm at the school. <laughs> okay, so that's the Yari. It's got 160 mil travel. Like I said, it's boost, but this bike is not a boost bike. So I had to get little spacers. 
for in there. But now I have a, a, uh, a fork that can come with me to another bike at some point. Well, it's downhill from here. I don't need a dropper up. Let's go. So at the end of May, I'm gonna be going to a bike park. We're going to uh, Blue Mountain Bike Park, which is in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. And I'll be bringing my Polygon here to the bike park to give it a try, see how it does. That's literally the whole reason I bought this was to do bike park stuff while still being able to trail ride, because I love that. Jumping is the best. Where are these jumps? Speaking of jumps, this place is weird. There's no way this is where everybody rides. There are so many freaking quads and dirt bikes. There's not a chance in hell this is where they ride. Because there's nothing here. And I rode a lot of dirt bikes in my life. And I would not come somewhere like this because there's literally nothing here. There's so much glass and shit everywhere. It's like berms. I thought I was freaking cooking. Can actually hit them, but I'm not. So therefore, I can't. I think I was already this way. I totally was already this way. I don't know where these jumps are, bro. But there's definitely a coal mine around here somewhere because this is all comb and leftover stuff. But anyway, yeah, I, I hope that this uh, GoPro actually turns out good. You know, I spent a lot of money on this thing. I have um, little like dead cats over the microphone holes to try to combat the wind noise while also being in, it's called a wind sock. It's just like a, a foam cover that goes around the GoPro. You've definitely seen it. Right now I have it on my chest mount, but for the downhill park, I have a full face helmet and I have a chin mount for that. So it'll be way cooler angles for actually going to the downhill park. Yeah, this thing has like super view with this wide angle lens mod. It's got a 155 degree view angle, which is nuts. Horizon lock and like ridiculous stabilization, which hopefully turns out good. I started shooting in a different way. So I'm no longer having everything auto. I'm going to color correct everything at home. So basically I set my white balance and I'll have everything here to show you all what my settings are. But, huh, this is a cool area. It's not coal. Well, this isn't coal, but hopefully, uh, oh boy. I really hope this video looks good. I don't really care how it uh, turns out at the moment. All right, well, that's somebody's yard, so <laughs> clearly don't want to go there. Here's something over here. Oh, never mind. There's a tree down there. Cool. Where are these jumps at, dude? So again, I still don't know where I'm at. My head still hurts. Ow. I can't find what I want to find. That's annoying. I'm not finding jumps. That's really all I want to find are some jumps. And I can't find them. Tech. <laughs> I almost crashed. Oh, the bug. Um, well, it appears I'm not gonna make that push back up here, I guess. I saw a cool trail on the way up that I would like to go down. <sighs> what the hell is that hole? That's not a good hole to be by. Me no know where I'm at. I'm making bad choices today. Ah, okay, good. It is for right out. Wow. All right. Is this where I came in? Yeah, there it is. I can't get over this fork. Holy shit, it's so cool. Is this what I wanted to go down? I think so. Nice. 
guys. You know, I thought this 160 mil travel was gonna be pretty bad, make the bike feel funny, but I really don't even notice. This bike was 130, 130 when I bought it. I increased the travel to 150 in the front anyway. And uh, then I put this on because that fork felt like butthole. Ooh, can I launch this? I might, yeah, I can. Neat. Like this fork is so supple that it feels like I have a flat tire in the front. That's how soft it is. And right now it has two uh, volume spacers in it. I haven't really got to test it enough yet to see if that is enough for me. I would like it to be decently stiff for downhill but, like I said, I, oh, bitch, I just went all the way up there. God dang it, man. Maybe I can ask them. All right, buddy. All good. Hey, do you know where the bike jumps are around here? What's up? Do you know where the bike jumps are at? Like the black diamond? Yeah. Am I in the right area? Yeah. Um, so if you follow this dike all the way down, there's an ice cream shop. Okay. Go behind the ice cream shop. All that dirt path is going to be on your right hand side. Ah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to, like, I can come around, I can show you at the end of the dike. I'll be able to find him. Right, I just, yeah. I was all the way up there and stuff. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, so you go to the end of this dike, um, cross over the Ave, and it's right behind the ice cream shop. You see the dirt path that goes down, and then you hook the right, and it's right in there. Awesome. Yeah, Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, man. You too. Ugh. Okay. So I was in the wrong spot. <laughs> Let's go hit some jumps. All right, I'm coming up on the ice cream shop. Just a short little ride and some more bicyclists. One thing I want to learn how to do is manual. Even when I rode BMX, I had no idea how to actually manual for a while. I mean, like, I used to be able to wheelie like a freaking champ, but we're on the dike again. Where's this dirt path that they are talking about? What's well, that? That looks like it could be it. It's Pickle Park. It's so windy, bro. Holy shit. I guess we'll really see here. Wait, do I see them? Oh my God, I think I see them. Hold on. I don't know if this is gonna even take me there, but I'm pretty sure I just saw drums. Did I? I might be full of shit. What the hell is that thing? This is a cool little trail. Where are these jumps, bro? Something up behind the ice cream shop. Well, that's where I am. I am behind the ice cream shop currently. Uh, I'm also not on a path. Man, what the hell? I don't know where these are, man. I don't know. But it turns out I was in the complete wrong area. This is a weird, weird part of the, the woods. This is like this because the river floods and then destroys everything. Where are the jumps? Holy cocks. Why is this so hard to find? <laughs> I have no idea where they are dang son wait wait hold the phone these trees are awesome because there's no like wind in here at all might be on the right path literally it's a lot of stuff that resembles oh wait that is definitely a jump but that is not a bicycle jump <laughs> for sure oh wait here they are haha -ha. hold on let's see what I can figure out here this is definitely them but they're all fucking ruined because of the dirt bikes and quads and shit what am I looking at oh yeah this is them definitely them this is them 100% definitely them but I don't see how they're gonna be rideable 
They're all shot. <laughs> oh yeah, this is all like dirt bike stuff now, man. Nothing, nothing to do with me. That sucks. These are all dirt bike jumps. I can't hit these on a bike. I mean, I could if I had speed, but I don't have that here. Okay, now I don't know where I'm at. My tires are literally just mud. And I'm hungry. I didn't eat yet. It's so windy. It's so windy. Dang. Wow. The wind makes it so hard to pedal. <laughs> so I guess it's it'll be pretty good to see if this uh, thing actually works here. All the stuff I did with the GoPro. If it blocks out the wind and all that. All I smell is Long John Silvers. Nothing wrong with that though. It just smells of fish. I love Long John Silvers so much. I actually took a video of doing the fork and I reset up my whole suspension obviously because I had to do the fork. And I set up the rear shock as well and it feels so much nicer. Like my ass doesn't hurt. <laughs> Little baby on a balance bike. Can't wait till I get my kid a bike. He's still too young though, way too young. He's four months old. So here's a horizon leveling. So you got the horizon over here. Watch this. I'm currently spinning the camera around 360 degrees and nothing is changing, okay? You might even be able to see me in my car window here. Super freaking sick, super sick. All right, so here's the bike. So it has the new RockShox Yari. 2021 model, debonair, uh, 160 millimeters of travel, two volume spacers in it, and it is supple, brother. Super, super supple. I love it. I'm going in the garage right now, though, because I got to get the bike in there. So it might get a little uh, shitty video quality going on. I tried using this thing in my house, and uh, it doesn't like dark, especially with like hyper smooth stabilization. Well, let's see, I'm home. There. Stay. There's my Marlin in there. The blue, the blue boy. I gotta take that out one of these times. It's gonna feel so big compared to this. This is a uh, 27.5 medium frame full suspension bike. And that is a 29 hardtail medium large bike. So yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> It's a big difference, especially on this thing. This bike feels like a motocross bike. It brings me back to when I uh, rode motocross and all that fun stuff. And it really brings me back to that. It's super playful. I literally love every second of riding that bike. It is so much fun. And it's gonna be at the downhill park. All right, guys, well, that about does it for this video. I was just doing this to pretty much just test out the GoPro and see how the fork ran. I'm gonna clean my bike and go home and see my son. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, help me out with YouTube's algorithm. And uh, I know I just said subscribe, but you know, in case you didn't hear me the first time, make sure you subscribe for epic mountain biking and drifting content. Thank you guys so much, and as always, I'll see you next time.